Hello folks and welcome to Tech TV. Gareth here. We're just finishing a small herd trim today. Hasn't been very many lame cows, but we've got this blue cow into the crush now. Most of the cows that we see is black and white, so this one's a little bit different. She's carrying her front right foot a little bit funny, so let's get it up and let's see how we can help her. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of Hoof Trimmers. This poor girl was feeling slightly blue with her sore front foot. So let's see how we can help her and hopefully make her feel less blue after the trim. She has a very deep sole fracture on that inner claw. I start the trim off by taking away that depth with the hoof knife. Inevitably, her foot needs a block, so I check around the heel of the outer claw to ensure it's sound and able to have a block applied. After all, it's going to be doing all the work for the next few weeks. I never thought I'd have anything in common with an outer claw, but in this case, it's doing all the work for the next few weeks, and sometimes I feel like I'm doing all the work compared to Tom. I suppose Tom's not getting any younger, so I have to allow him to take it a little bit easier. While I'm getting the claw cleaned off for a block, I want to give you a little sneak peek of why we have been quiet on YouTube this past few weeks. We have been working hard on our Christmas specials, so here you are, here's a little taste of what's to come. I'll be home for Go down under the name of Santa's Little Helpers. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you're as excited as we are for next week. Anyway, let's get on with this blue cow's trim. Now for the more delicate job of removing the sharp edges of hoof. As you can see now, the sole fracture is travelling up into the white line area. This probably originated from an injury or a knock somewhere along the line. Trimming away the loose bits of detached horn, 
from the exposed corium to bring her comfort as she walks and heals in the next few weeks. Now for the final part of the treatment, applying a paste bandage to prevent the muck getting into the lesion for a few days. She's a little bit unsure of her first few steps as she gets out of the crush, but we will certainly check on her when we get packed up. That little blue and white cow was in a lot of pain before the trim and all of her weight was transferring down through that white line lesion. So we have reversed that now and we put a bio TP block on. So that will reverse the weight and it'll take the weight off the white line lesion. Uh, she is walking a little bit uncomfortable on it just at the moment, but uh, we will check her with three or four cows left in this little herd trim and uh, we'll check her before we go. And there she is, less blue and more comfortable than she was yesterday.